In this video, we're going to learn to evaluate logarithms without a calculator and also take a look at the change of base formula. Our first example is log base 2 of 8. So we ask ourselves, log base 2 of 8 equals what? In exponential form, that's 2 to the what equals 8. Hey, I know that one. 2 cubed is 8, so log base 2 of 8 must be 3. For our second problem, we'll take a look at log base 6 of 1. So log base 6 of 1 equals what? In exponential form, that's 6 to the what equals 1. Remember that anything to the 0 power is 1. So 6 to the 0 power is 1, and log base 6 of 1 must be 0. Next up, log base 3 of 9 equals what? In exponential form, this is 3 to the what equals 9, and hey, I got this one too. 3 squared is 9, so log base 3 of 9 must be equal to 2. So that's all well and good, but what about something like log base 5 of 7? I'll start out the same way. Log base 5 of 7 equals what? And then write that in exponential form. 5 to the what equals 7. Unfortunately, this is not at all obvious. I don't know what power of 5 is 7, so how am I going to figure this out? Well, I do know one thing to do. I know how to solve equations when there's a variable in the exponent, so I'm going to take a log of both sides and see if I can solve for that question mark. Now, I've decided to use the common log, log base 10, but really any logarithm would do. So now I have log of 5 to the what equals log of 7, I can use that um, power property of logarithms to pull the question mark down in front. So now I have what times log of 5 equals log of 7. Divide by log of 5 and we'll get our question mark by itself. This is an exact answer, log of 7 over log of 5, but probably we would like a nice decimal approximation, which we can find using the calculator. So this tells me that log base 5 of 7 is about 1.209. Now, does that mean anything? Does it make any sense? Well, we know that 5 to the first power is 5, but 5 to the second power jumps all the way up to 25. We were looking for a 5 to the what equals 7. So we need a number that's between 1 and 2, but probably a bit closer to 1. So, sure. Our number, 1.209, seems to fit the bill. Now, you may be asking yourself, do I have to go through that whole rigmarole every time I want to evaluate a logarithm that's not obvious? And the answer is no. We can generalize this idea to a formula. The formula says, log base b of x equals log base a of x over log base a of b. Usually though, instead of using log base a, we use log base 10, the common log, or log base e, the natural log, because those are uh, logarithms that we can easily evaluate on our calculator. Let's go ahead and do an example using that change of base formula. We're going to find log base 7 of 10. Using my change of base formula, log base 7 of 10 becomes log of 10 over log of 7. When I punch that all into my calculator, I get about 